There is a severe weather threat here at home, too. We are tracking several storms over the next 24 hours. Heavy rain and hail flooding reported in and around Kansas City, Missouri. More than 80 million people at risk of dangerous weather from the plains to New England and triple-digit heat in the West. Here's ABC senior meteorologist Rob Marciano. Extreme weather punishing the heartland this weekend. Hard-hitting hail shattering this car windshield in Missouri. And in Kansas City, lightning tearing through the night sky as residents run for cover. Torrential rain and 70 mile per hour winds downing trees, swamping roadways, and knocking out power to over 80,000 homes. The same wave of storms unloading on Lincoln, Nebraska, with hail the size of tennis balls. Wind, rain, stuff hitting the side of the vehicle. Cars crushed, trees uprooted, this tractor trailer overturned. Meanwhile, the southwest sizzling in the midst of a dangerous heat wave. It's still too hot, even with the A.C. blowing. American Airlines warning travelers that the extreme heat could ground flights out of Phoenix this week, with temperatures expected to hit 120 degrees. 120. So let's get right to Rob with the forecast. You're tracking a number of storms here. Yeah, this cold front stretches from the Canadian border all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. We've had a severe thunderstorm watch out for parts of Pennsylvania and upstate New York where uh, we've had severe thunderstorm warnings in the last hour. Damaging winds, large hail, and isolated tornado all the way down to Little Rock tonight. This all squeezes to the east. And look at the highly populated D.C., Philly, New York to Boston corridor, Albany as well. Uh, could see some severe supercells t there tomorrow. Here's the extreme heat, 118 in Palm Springs, 118 in Phoenix. These numbers are approaching all-time records, and it looks like this heat will continue right through Wednesday or Thursday, so a dangerously long stretch, Cecilia. All right, thanks, Rob, and happy Father's Day. Evaporation is when tiny particles of water rise up to form larger particles. Condensation. Condensation is when the particles grow to form clouds. Precipitation. Precipitation is when the clouds get too heavy and then will rain. Transpiration. Transpiration is when all the rain is finally about to touch the ground. Billions of gallons of water go into the air every hour from the ponds, lakes, rivers, and oceans all over the world. In fact, everything that dries is giving water to the air. Even wet fields do this. Yep, there's another way water can get into the air. The water on the doghouse roof dried pretty fast in the warm sun. This water disappears faster because the stove is hotter. The cloud from the spout of the tea kettle is condensation of the water vapor from the tea kettle hitting the colder air. The hot water in the kettle gives off water vapor to the air by rapid evaporation, just as rivers, lakes, and ponds give off water vapor to the air by slow evaporation. As the hot water-filled air hits the colder air near the ice tray, the water vapor turns into clouds of tiny water droplets floating in the air condensation. When the air is quite cold and cannot hold any more water droplets, they collect together to form larger drops as on the ice tray. And being too heavy to float in the air, they fall back to the earth as rain. The hot water in the kettle gives off water vapor to the air by rapid evaporation just as rivers, lakes, and ponds give off water vapor to the air by slow evaporation. The hot water in the kettle gives off water vapor to the air by rapid evaporation, just as rivers, lakes, and ponds give off water vapor to the air by slow evaporation. <laughs> 